Hello there, I'm Ben Wade, and in this Unleash You tutorial, you are going to learn what domain names are, how they work, some guidelines to follow when choosing a domain name, and how to avoid some of the most common mistakes people make when choosing a domain name. Please watch carefully for this part of the video. It will save you a lot of heartache down the road. And as always, if we mention anything during the video, there will be a link to it on our page so it's easier for you to find. Links to our pages are always in the video description in case you're not already watching this video on UnleashU.com. And now, let's dive into what is a domain name. So what is a domain name? We see them all the time, but what are they? The basic idea of a domain name is a simple to use, easy to remember name used to point to a domain where a website is hosted. That leads to the next natural question, what is a domain? The basic idea of a domain is computers or devices grouped together in a network to accomplish a function or purpose. These computers or devices, by the way, are usually referred to as servers. So what does this mean for a website? Domain is the device or devices working together to provide the information people request from that website. It's where the website lives. On the smallest scale, hundreds or thousands of domains can be hosted on a single server. On the largest scale, millions of servers work together to host a single domain. The domain name is what you call the domain and it's designed to make the domain easier to find. That way, instead of trying to remember the IP address of the domain, you just have to remember the domain name instead. Now here are some basic pointers when choosing the domain name for your website. The simpler to remember, the better. If people can't remember the domain name, they might not be able to find it again or tell their friends about it. Try for something like this, instead of making a mistake like this. The simpler to spell, the better. You want your domain name to be simple to spell so it's easy to remember. A common mistake here is to make your domain name so difficult to spell that it's almost an uncrackable code. As often as possible, try to stick with .com addresses. People's first instinct when they hear the name of a website is to go to the .com version, so start with that one if possible. A common mistake here is setting up a domain name with a very obscure domain type. Even worse is setting up a domain where the .com version is already taken. You could end up sending a lot of traffic to someone else's site. Avoid hyphenating or dashing your domain name. Just like the .com suggestion, people's first instinct when they hear the name of a website is to go to the solid or non-hyphenated version. Something like this, instead of something like this. For most people, the best domain name to start with is either the name of their business or project, or their own name. In many cases, they have a website for both. And that's the basics of what domain names are and how they work. Now before you ask, yes of course, we will have a tutorial that walks you step by step through how to set up a domain name. If you're watching this video on our site, look around on the page for a link to that video. If you're not on our site already, look for links in the video description. Alright, in the rest of the tutorials coming up, you will learn how to actually build a website a few different ways. The first series is going to cover how to do that with WordPress. Another series will be behind the scenes tutorials on how we created these videos. We'll cover how we built UnleashU.com, which is where we organize all of our tutorials so they're easier for you to find. Lots of great stuff coming up and you don't want to miss any of it. So be sure to click that like button on our Facebook page. Be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Basically follow us wherever you find us so you never miss a thing. Also like, favorite, comment on, and share this video so other people have an easier time finding it. Alright, thanks for watching and keep an eye out for more tutorials coming up.